Hey guys, uh, time to make another video, I guess. Um, I have done a fair amount of work to this. Um, I'll show you what I, I got it running. Uh, I got a little clip of it running, but uh, I don't remember where I left off, but I got the intercooler uh, tabs all mounted up. That's nice and solid. And uh, I got the Maven performance throttle linkage on, ran lines and blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I changed, if you remember, I had my boost control valves here and then the map. I don't want anything on the firewall above this pinch seam. I want it to look clean. So I hid all the boost control stuff in the inside the cow so that's really clean now just try to get as much stuff out of the engine bay and wires as i can and here's the big change uh if you remember we did all that work for putting that little honda style radiator up front well as you can tell that thing is gone so i cut i had it running and i don't know why but it was having issues controlling the heat uh, it would get it took a long time for it to get up there, but when it did it it wouldn't plateau It just kept it just kept uh, Rising so and that's just idling. So just think about if it was running if I I couldn't street drive this at all with that So I just said screw it and uh, got rid of it, which is Awesome because it leaves me tons of room for activities up here for if everyone change the turbo kit or go to a bigger intercooler or whatever, but if you notice here, also my water pump is gone. So here's what I did. I got rid of that old little radiator. I had a big radiator on this car originally, on a, originally up front and I saved it. And then so what I've done is, boom, right there. Rear mount radiator set up on this thing is what we're gonna do. So it should work out pretty sweet. Um, I have a couple buddies who have a rear mount radiator and they love it. So it's already, I already have it all mounted up. Uh, it's a little bit of a gap back here to let, let air in, kind of scoop it up. It doesn't hang too terribly low or anything right under the fuel, fuel cell. But, uh, today I'll be pulling this off and I got to weld up these holes because I'm going to be drilling holes on the side here for the fittings. We're going to delete the cap because we don't need a cap down the slow. So yeah, that's what we're going to be working on. And there's lots of benefits to go into a rear mount radiator setup. Um, one is the extra room. Two, we're going to add a lot of weight on the back of the car. So that's kind of the goal, I, I guess, is to make this thing yank the tires up. So. All right, I'll get that radiator pulled off and we'll fire up the TIG welder and see who will burn some rods. Okay, guys, I got the little plugs uh, cut right here. They're just little pieces of aluminum that I cut with hand snips. And we're going to weld these on. It's like 16 gauge or uh, 16th, 1 16th inch aluminum plate. Should work good. Same diameter as the same thickness as the in tanks. How I, a little trick, how I get this aluminum scrap plate is I have a bunch of aluminum tube. And what I do is I just cut it lengthwise uh, on the bandsaw. Then I take a, uh, a dead blow and it just makes a good little aluminum scrap plate. You don't gotta go buy any if you got aluminum tube laying around. So yeah, so I'll get this cleaned and then uh, we'll get these welded on here. Okay, I got these welded on, uh, the little plugs. Turned out okay. I had a little trouble through here because I got into the cast part of this and it was not wanting to mix metal all right, but it, I got it. And then uh, I just ripped the cap off with a pair of vice grips. You can just pull it straight out of that sheet metal and uh, uh, I welded this patch on here. I had to make a double pass through here, but yeah, it's fully sealed now. Now I'll just uh, get some dash 16 bungs and weld them on the sides 
So that way I can put 90A in fittings on them and stuff. I'll actually turn and go this way. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. I'll got to get those bungs on and then uh, we'll mount it back up.